Oh, I've never seen his movies, so I don't. I, I, I don't really actually good. know what they're about. They're really good. Yeah, they're you've said you've said they're all right, but you've also said that they're not actually scary. So I'm not going to watch a horror movie that's it's not really scary. What is scary though? What like what horror movie scares you or or like like so I I don't necessarily mm, like my favorite horror movie is the thing, the John Carpenter movie. Yeah. I that's definitely my number one probably by a good bit. It's very it's so well done. Is it the pacing old? is good. It's older. It's in the 70s. eight I think it's oh the late 70s maybe 70s early 80s. Or 80s. Oh. Something like that. And it's very good at being unnerving. Like it has like the gore and all that. That's not scary, especially coming from, you know, someone now who's seen a lot more gruesome gore in films that looks mm. more realistic. But like the unnerving aspect of it, I like a lot of like not knowing who is the beast, who is the impersonator, who is. Yeah, it's that's what's scary now to me as an adult. Right. As a kid, it was about some jump scare of someone coming out of the woods or you know behind that door mm -hmm. as an adult it can't, it's not scary unless i'm thinking about it the next time i'm in the dark walking through tall grass yeah or like what's that one is it kyle which one's conjuring and which one's sinister Con um, conjuring? so the conjuring is is the one with the couple who like do paranormal stuff the guy the, the man and the woman yes. and they go to um you know his name. It's the guy from Band of Brothers. They go to his house to to mm. deal with some some demons and and spooks that they got going on there. And um, I think Sinister is uh, is the one where you've got the Bagul, which is the the child stealing demon who tricks the kids into or convinces the children to murder their own families and then records it. And Ethan Hawke finds all those recordings of it upstairs. I think you're correct. I yeah, you talking about both of them reminded me. I like both of them. Like they're yes. both very good, but the conjuring is genuinely creepy. The first like it's, one is it's excellent. one of yeah, the first conjuring is great and scary movies are hard to do right because it's so easy to fuck up or to overplay your hand and make it appear silly instead of uh, I said a long scary. time ago that the Baba Duke really, really bothered me. And I think some people watched it and, and said I yeah, it yeah, didn't, didn't get agree. me and that one didn't. Yeah, but but mm. like when I was watching it, I gen I had to turn it off because it was so upsetting. Like, like there was a part where the Baba Duke was like the lady's in bed and it's it's nighttime and her bedroom door just opens creakily and it like crawls in on the ceiling and it's like a spider almost crawling around on the ceiling and she's hiding under the covers from it and when she peeks it's crawled right on above her bed but it's doing this backwards neck thing looking at her and it just pounces on her face and i was like all right that's it yeah <laughs> we're done we're done we're done for the night. We're not going to watch the rest of this. I haven't watched a good spook in forever. Are you a scary movie guy, Scott? Um, I like them, but uh, it's it's kind of the same thing. It's like I, you know, I, I think it's more cerebral for me. You know, mm -hmm. like I like um, I like interesting concepts. Like Children of the Corn was probably like one of the like like I was I was kind of like yeah. The first time I saw that, I was younger, but it was like a really good movie. Um. But I'm a, a Nightmare on Elm Street scared the hell out of me when I was a kid, too. My wife is downstairs watching that with my son right now. Nightmare Personally. on Elm Street? Yeah, from yeah. 1984. Damn. Yeah, that's a, I've, I've that's that a good one. one. I don't remember being too scared. I, I saw it too old, I think. Did you see? I think it's the second one. It's the gay one. It's the one with all the gay undertones and like like the gym teachers, like clearly gay. Mm. And they're at the, they're at the leather bar. The, and there's the, a gay one? Yeah. I didn't yeah, there's Oh my God! It's I, it's either the second or third one. I, I I can't remember which, but it's there are there's I, I've I've watched all the interviews and stuff, and like mm -hmm. it's funny to see some of the actors are like, yeah, it was clearly very gay, um, it was gay, and then the another guy's like, I had no idea that we were making a gay film, but it has hmm. become in the gay community just a cornerstone of of what it feels like this the teen angst and the coming out, and it's it's. It's very, very gay. It's it's about mm -hmm. being gay and dealing with it and and everything around it. While in the middle, you've got Freddy Krueger, you know, murdering people. He Fred Krueger's even a little sexy with the the boy in this one. And I think that um, they talked about him maybe like licking him or something, but they thought it was too far. There was lots of weird stuff in that movie. It's bizarre. It's I'm not, not a good movie. that one. Skip that mm. one. All the all the horrors I see now are just bad. Like I haven't seen a uh, good horror movie in fucking forever. Colin I feel like HD is a bad way to do horror movies too. 
I feel like if you see things too clearly, if everything's too crystal, you're it's kind of there's there's no yeah. mystery or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. There's there's something to be said about when we were watching like the thing, for example, on a fuzzy tube TV that might even been small, and it's like, man, you can, what is that? Well, I can't really see it. It's in the mm. dark. It's oh god, oh, now you can see. I, I don't know. There's something too. Now I'm on the you know a gigantic 4K TV and it's, it's everything's crystal clear. If you show too much of the monster, um, or if your CGI is a little wonky in some way, mm. I'm not afraid of CGI monsters almost ever. Yeah, uh, it, it's I, I I'm not really sure. The alien abduction thing has always been really scary to me because I kind of believe it just a little. Like mm-hmm. enough that I'm afraid of it. And I remember that thing Woody said about being in the situation and then being afraid of it. Um, I would uh when I was a kid, I would I would jog to the end of the driveway and back. And it, it's dark down there. Like we're in the country, and when you get to the end, you're in the woods. And I would always imagine that there were aliens in the woods trying to get me and run as fast as I could back home. And I remember thinking, like, this is as fast as I ever am. This is my fastest when I'm running from the aliens in the woods. And I, and I, and I know it was true. Like if you had somebody out there the stopwatch, 100% I'm fast. Yeah. When I, you were when going D1 if they would have had the timer then. If they had gotten like a scary alien on the sidelines, the <laughs> I could have been like a water boy era, like, like style talent where they just got to get the, like the gray alien face out on the sidelines and freak me out. That could have been it. It's really just most movies now. I'm not like, and I think maybe it's the nature of like streaming services and their, their business model when it comes to a lot of the movies they make, which is like shotgun, like, all right, Mm. make a lot of them. And if we make enough, a couple of these are going to be unexpected hits. What would be good a little more? Like you could tell by, well, the ads, but like big time movies, the, the ads would just hit different. It's like, oh, this Forrest Gump is going to be a major event movie. Mm-hmm. Saving Private Ryan is going to be dope. Now, good movies and bad movies go straight to streaming, and it's yeah. difficult to tell what it's supposed, what's good and what's bad. You don't Have like you realize that? what's a social, I guess, phenomenon until mm-hmm. it's like, oh, it's trending on Twitter. I guess a lot of people are watching this. Like, there's mm-hmm. there's no way to know because so many people have ads blocked for everything. You don't even have the the run up. Yes. Have you seen Midsummer? It's by Ari Aster, the same one who did Hereditary. It's it's where the couple goes to this like weird Norwegian festival out in the country. I haven't then... watched it. I should though, because I liked Hereditary. It's I felt a... so bad for that funny faced girl. I love when she dies. It's the best part of the movie. Um but but Midsummer is like weird. It's very upsetting and it's very like it, it's it's creepy. It's because you don't it, and it's very bright instead of uh, lots of darkness in for a horror movie. It's bright daylight, I think, in every scary scene, like every like scary that. scene is bright daylight. It, I can't it? remember what no one that I knew, oh, okay. um, but 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 like the girl's face when you see the girl's face, it, it, they may memeified the face she makes toward the makes Oh, the crying the at the end. I've seen that. Um, is that it? There's maybe but she's like, like smiling and crying or something. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Um, and there's a part at the beginning. I can't remember what they call it. The, the guten schlep or something. It's it's the practice of when the old people would jump off of a cliff to kill themselves in like Viking uh, society because they were useless now. And so yeah. you just and there's a they have that out of nowhere at the beginning. And the tourists are just like. What the fuck did we just watch? What the fuck did we just watch? And there's like people smashed on the rocks. I'm like, this is the natural way of things. Or however <laughs> they sound. Not, not not like that exactly. More of an authentic <laughs> accent. Why are probably... you so offended? <laughs> <laughs> we are just tossing the refuse out the way we do every midsummer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, he said five. the movie title. <laughs> like, yeah. Is that how no, it that goes? No, one, that one's good. That one's weird. Um, I, I, I can't. I watched the Terrifier. Uh, recently, Terrifier two actually. That stunk. One. I did not like Terrifier. That's not my style. It's so gory, like over the top gory, and not comical goriness. Like it's not like oh look at all that blood spraying like Akira movies. You yeah. know you'll. It's a cl- it's Terrifier. A- That's a clown one, right? Yes, mm, he yeah, yeah. tortures people to death, and it's just like I don't want to watch you torture people slowly to death. Like like it, it's, it's terrible. Like that's it's, that's it's, what I don't want in a horror movie. 
is I don't want gore, torture. Like I, I, I am not scared by that. I'm just put off by it. Like it's, it's to the point where it's like, what oh, about I, I like home in, this. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you one that's, that's really uncomfortable and like, it's called funny people. And uh, it's it's a home invasion movie where they like hold them hostage and sort of torture and and like torment um, the, a couple. Oh, that's and not a comedy. No. Is oh. it funny people or funny games? I actually, you actually might be right because I think Funny People is the Adam Sandler movie. Oh, <laughs> I was like, dude, Adam Sandler's getting is real. It funny. Like, <laughs> I think I think you're right. I think it's going to be Funny Games. Funny yeah, Games. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because there, there was like a Norwegian version or something, and then there was like an American version. Yes. Um, I haven't. I've seen some like clips from the Norwegian version or whatever it is, the older one, but I've seen the new one, and it's it's upsetting. Hmm. Like the violence. Upsetting. Just yeah. Just how drawn out it is, and how it's more mental than physical. It's it's like letting someone know you're going to do something awful to them and then like spending 20 minutes talking about it. And then, you know what? Maybe I'll wait till later. Uh, I really type of stuff where if if you were going to murder someone you hated, you probably wouldn't even do it that way to them because you'd be like, nah, nah, I hate this guy, but you know, I just want to get it over with. But, and they're just strangers. I think if I remember correctly, like they've just, they have, they have no reason to do these things other than they want to. Mm. That's sinister. Yeah. That, that that I remember watching that and that one make, making me feel like kind of nauseous and kind of sick to my stomach. Like, kind of wish I hadn't watched this. Of course, I was a kid. If it's if it's too over the top gore and cruel, it can be off putting and like, oh, this is it, it's it's cruelty and gore for the sake of it without it like playing into the character's motivations. This one and isn't it's really like, gory. Oh, you're, you're trying just... to shock me right now. Yeah, this one's more mental than than like gore. Um, it, it's it's more the threat of what they're going to do. Although they do awful things. Yeah. I mean, the, the ending itself is. I don't want to spoil it. You should watch it. It's it's it's, it's a dark horror movie. I'll try it out. What was the title of that one? Um, funny games. Funny, funny games. games. Yeah, yeah. I'll give. I'm, gla- I'm glad he corrected me, and somebody didn't rent Funny People and be like, <laughs> "This isn't scary at all." <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, this sucks. What a pussy! <laughs> There's a lot of Steve Carell singing. When's <laughs> when it get scary? <laughs> it's it's actually pretty know. good. Uh, yeah, I wish there were more movies and shows I actually enjoyed watching. Now, like, Survivor. You guys are both missing my, it. I, I I don't like reality TV really. This like, is better than other reality TV. Not not a big not a big fan of it. It's just it doesn't pull me in. I fucking can't sell a TV show to Kyle. I'm the worst salesman ever. Well, it's you know, I've seen it. I yeah, I've no you have a new season, season five. five. I mean, you, it's a you, you, gotta, you you gotta watch reality TV with a woman though, because like it kind of it's 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 almost like um it's almost like an out. Like if you were sitting down watching Survivor on your own, you might feel a little like uh, a little weird. Yeah. But when when you got the girl there, you're like, oh no, she's watching this, and I'm watching her watch this. <laughs> and, and I'm, I'm telling her how dumb that person on the TV is. You know? Yeah, it's she's like watching. This, just dumb. She's watching Cake Boss. You I'm just Survivor. Here. Yeah. There's like I don't know, 30 people at the start. Like 27 of them are better at this game than I am, and I'm just like watching them make moves, working their strategies. I'm like fuck, that that's actually pretty clever. They're not dummies. The only one I like, and it's only of clips of it, is like a Gordon Ramsay cooking show. It's fun watching him yell at people briefly, but other than that, not really. And even then, I can't remember the last time I watched a Gordon Ramsay show. That's what I watch. I, I watch all of the Gordon Ramsay shows, no matter how shitty they mm-hmm. are. I watch him cook with children. I watch him cook with adults. I watch him yell at restaurants and rebuild hotels. I watch all that shit. I the man's a billionaire, and he's he comes out with a new Fox TV show every fucking year. Uh, I don't I don't know. I Nothing watch them all like though. like I'll just start watching a new show or a movie or something, and always I'm like, is this, is this is this as good? Are you enjoying this as much as you would just enjoy kind of having old Simpsons, old King of the Hill, that on in the background? It's like no, like I don't like I'd rather watch season four Simpsons again than this you know, uninteresting nonsense. I and maybe, fucking, maybe that's like part of getting older is that like, you want to go back to these things that kind of tickle that nostalgia feeling of like, Oh man, I remember watching this season for the first time of the Simpsons and 
you know, late grade school, middle school, or whatever it was, and like, like enjoying it and like that, like happy, carefree feeling, snow day feeling. 